Study guitar online with Berkeley's renowned faculty. Download your free guitar handbook now and discover how Berkeley Online can help you become a better guitar player. Hey everyone, Nikos here with Premier Guitar at Prova Studios, Athens, Greece, and today we'll be looking at a few quick tips that will help you improve your technique and speed up your playing while sounding musical and not like you're executing an exercise. Before we begin, please make sure to hit subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss out on any of the new videos we've got coming your way. Regardless of your playing style and genre of choice, improving your technique will undoubtedly help you break through the boundary between the sound in your head and what you're able to play now. One thing to keep in mind is that the goal should always be to express yourself better rather than turning guitar playing into gymnastics, unless this is what you're into, of course. To see an improvement on your technical capabilities, you need to put in time and effort and be determined to leave your comfort zone. And though there are no shortcuts around the process, here are a few things that I'd like to point out that should help you practice more effectively. Prepare yourself. Playing guitar involves the movement of many different muscles. It is helpful to prepare those muscles by stretching for a few seconds and make sure that you're not cold before practicing, as you would before a workout. Get up, stand up. While most of us tend to practice sitting down, it is a good idea to also practice standing up since this is how you'll find yourself performing most of the time. Also make sure to wear your guitar at the same height that you'd have it if you were performing on stage. Minimize movements. One very simple thing that will help you play faster is to be aware of how far away your fingers are from the frets and try to minimize the distance. Combine that with analyzing your picking motion and consciously trying to avoid unnecessary movement that will increase the distance between the string and your pick. It might feel like you're forcing yourself at first, especially if you've been playing for a long time and developed specific habits, but if you stick to it, you'll see that you can alter them. Metronome tricks. Practicing with a metronome is crucial while trying to increase your speed and develop more solid technique. While doing so, make sure that you practice your patterns, scales, riffs and chord changes slowly at first and gradually increase the tempo. This will help you avoid sloppiness at higher speeds and sound more clear and confident. One cool thing you can do is practice a pattern slowly until you feel that you really understand it. Then find the top speed that you can barely play it without sounding too messy. After that, drop the metronome speed 5 BPMs and keep practicing there, gradually increasing the tempo after being able to play it easily. To make practicing with a metronome more exciting and fun, you can use what some players call speed bursts. Play one measure of larger subdivisions, then quickly move to 16th notes or sextuplets for a beat or two and go back again. Focus on the sound. 
Practicing using a dry, clean tone will help you be more aware of your mistakes, since it's far less forgiving than using overdrive or any other effects. However, it would be wise to also practice with a tone that you enjoy and you intend to use when recording or performing. Practice music. Spending time alone with your guitar in the metronome will be beneficial to increasing your speed and improving your technique. However, doing only that can also be dangerous, since it could cut you from feeling the song while you're playing or improvising in other circumstances, and it could even turn you away from playing, since it can get boring. It's important to practice your exercises in context, such as playing along with a backing track. You can even have great practice sessions with other guitarists, bass players or drummers. One thing to be aware of, though, is that you should separate the time that you're jamming from the time that you're practicing in order to achieve a specific goal. Breathe. When a difficult fast run is coming up in the song, it could be stressful, especially if you don't feel well prepared. Your body's natural reaction to stress is to tense up and ultimately prepare to fail. To avoid that, make sure that you always keep the flow of your breathing under control and your body as relaxed as possible, even when you're playing at a speed close to your limits. That's all for now. I really hope that you found this video useful and please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.